Well, good morning, good evening, or good afternoon, whatever your current life situation is. Hello, YouTube. It's Jeff Kite back again with another episode of Kite's Curiosities. Got the game going on in the background right there. It is halftime out in Boulder. That's Coach Prime, as they call him, uh, taking on Colorado State. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty, pretty good ball game, but it is, man, it's a hard-hitting ball game, so... While halftime was going on, I thought I'd do my first video of a couple videos I'm going to be making today and tomorrow because it's working on midnight. I'm going to go to bed after this game's over. And I'll have a TTM autograph episode tomorrow, hopefully. And, and uh, I wanted to do a little comic reveal. Um, was at Walmart. was actually going to buy some cards. Went by a little card section. See what they had, didn't see anything, and then I noticed they had their little comic book bundles and wasn't really impressed, but flipped through them anyway. But I saw this, and I'm like, this is pretty interesting. This is the uh, seven comics for $10 bundle uh, from Marvel, and um, it comes sealed up, and a little board in the back and everything. Ten comics for seven, or seven comics for $10. And on the very front is Ant-Man number one from the year, I think last year, 2022. This is a key. It's not a big key, but it's a minor key of uh, the first appearance of Ant-Man in the year 2549. Now, as y'all know, um, some of you have been watching some of my comic book videos. I have only been collecting comic books since May of this year during free comic book day. I heard, did never heard of that before and uh, went around to some comic book stores, got some free comics and kind of went back in time to my childhood and some things that was never available in my little small town I grew up in. And I just started, started a whole nother collection of things. So, <laughs> so um, I've been kind of grabbing things that, uh, you know, I thought were cool, but not like really good quality stuff. So, uh, the more I've gotten into comic book collecting, I've kind of learned a few things. And I'm like, well, I don't, I don't need to just buy things because they're cool. You know, I buy them because I like them. But also, if you want a nice collection, start getting keys and uh, key comics and key issues and, and number ones and that kind of thing. So that's what I've been kind of focusing my, my collection on. So let's cut this open up. And let's see here what is going to be in this bundle. So we already know we're going to get Ant-Man number one. That, according to Key Collector, that book says a $4 comic. So right off the bat, I've got four, or right off the back, right off the bat, excuse me, um, I've got $4 covered of my little $10 investment. So only six more dollars to come up with. So. It is very nice and pretty good little shape. Yeah, I like it. I'm going to read it. Artwork looks really good. I was really intrigued because this is artwork that I like, and it's not this new new modern stuff that I see a lot of. So very excited to have that. And then I've got two, three comic bundles so three six and then that one is seven so let's pop this right here and i am not real familiar with all the new stuff 80s i've gotten pretty good on but some of the modern age comics i'm still learning on so we'll gonna take a look at them and then we'll look them up and see you got Moon Knight, number 10. Okay. That's pretty interesting right here. I like this. This is nice. This is a variant cover, Star Wars, number 22. That might be pretty special there. I'm going to look that up here in a second. And then we've got Venom, number 6. So, 
Venom number six. Right. Pretty cool, pretty cool right there. So let's dig into this last pack here. Hope everyone has had a great weekend and is enjoying whatever it is that you all enjoy doing. I have had a pretty good day. Uh, Georgia Southern did not win. Very sad about that. We went up to Wisconsin, didn't pull it out, even though we was leading the game in the third quarter. Um, at my Liberty Eagle, uh, my Liberty Flames, excuse me, uh, did pull out the win today. So I was very happy about that. All right, so on with this. We've got, okay, the Amazing Spider-Man number 79. What is this? I've never heard of this now. Looks interesting. Looks like something that I would actually like to read here. Uh, Kazar, Lord of the Savage Land, number two. Y'all know how much I like uh, Conan the Barbarian, and this looks kind of Conan the Barbarian-ish. Oh, that's pretty cool. Right there. And then, uh, what is this? Mar, what's this? Mar, Mar Soldiers, I think. What is this? Uh, here. Uh, can't read the title very well. Anyway, I'll look that up and see what it is. All right, let's get back to this game. Come back and see if I got any keys out of that. All right, I'm back. Um, looked all these up, and for the most part, they were just kind of meh books, but it's going to be some pretty good reading after I read them. I can put them in my, um, my treasure box at school and let the kids pick them and use them as their, as their treasures that they get to get on Fridays if they have good behavior, which we're working on <laughs> in the classroom. But, um, Two keys were pulled out of here. One, you already know what this one is. Ant-Man number one. First appearance of Ant-Man in the year 2549. I'm going to have a good time reading that one. I think that's going to be a good read. And then the Moon Knight. Moon Knight number 10. Um, this is a little small key or my, uh, a minor key that features the first full appearance of Rutherford Winter, who is like an ex-assassin for Hydra, and Moon Knight has a run-in with him, a little confrontation. Don't want to give too much away um, and ruin the story for anybody who might want to read it. So, but this is this is pretty cool. Uh, it had several variant covers. This is the green variant. There's a red variant that basically this is, you know, different shades of red in the background and, and the lettering and stuff. And then there's one where Moon Knight is um, like coming in like this or some kind of way. And that kind of thing. That one is a, that one's the, the big one that's, that you're looking for out of um, issue 10, the one where Moon Knight's coming out. It's like a little, it's like a classic cover of Moon Knight. That go, those go for about $10, $10 $12. Uh, these two keys that I just showed you, eight, about eight bucks total, $4 each, and the rest of them, you know, probably, you know, dollar, dollar bin type uh, titles there, two, three bucks maybe. Um, Definitely got my money's worth. It's going to be some good reading. And like I said, when I'm done, um, those will go into the treasure box. And I'll keep those other two in my collection. And who knows? Maybe I hit it big one day. <laughs> and I have that uh, $2.5 million comic that uh, by the time it does that, my, my daughter will be of age to have that sucker. I'll be long gone by then, but. Anyway, it's fun to dream. So, as always, folks, like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. Till next time, y'all take care now. Have a good one. Go check out Coach Prime if you ain't. Take care now. Bye.